I'm number two on the leaderboard. Am I allowed to be mean to you? Nobody's allowed to be mean to anybody, just for one. Secondly, congratulations is obviously, you know, I hate to say this. Here's that attention you ordered. Secondarily, what are you doing in my chat? Shouldn't you be in the Super Auto Pets Discord talking about how units nobody uses in the arena are actually overpowered? Oh, we got to nerf the chicken, even though, oh, me and the nine other people who play versus against each other all the time. Oh, we've made a, oh, duck is too strong. We need to nerf duck. Why the anger? You, when you're making a joke at my expense, it's just banter. Me, when I'm making a joke at your expense, why are you so mad? You see how messed up this is? The only difference between us is that mine made people laugh. And then you have the audacity to be offended by, by the words that came out of my mouth? I added joy into the world. More people are laughing now than were five minutes ago. And apparently that makes me a war criminal in your eyes. <laughs> oh, dropout streams, what happened? You're in third place. I'm in second place. Can I cyber bully you? Obi-Wan Cannabis, you got my permission. Anybody who's in the top two Super Auto Pets players this weekly can backseat me, okay? Slash user dropout streams. 151 messages in chat. <laughs> Last message three hours ago. <laughs> oh, man. Dropout streams is back to top two. Watch out. I, you know what? Let's slash marker. Sad. I'd like to apologize to dropout streams. Yesterday they said I'm second on the leaderboard. Uh, can I be rude to you? And I deflected. I deflected their commentary. I said, you can't be rude to anybody, or at least you don't have my permission. Plus, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be circle jerking on the Super Auto Pets Discord about how chicken is overrated even though nobody in Arena ever uses it? It's just the top 10 players in the world playing versus against one another. Like, oh, the most overpowered unit of the game right now is the ostrich. Anyway, um, then at the end of the stream, I laughed at them because they fell down to number three. And then I checked, uh, while I was recording yesterday, I checked and they were number one. So, first off, I apologize for my rudeness, and then secondly, I apologize for uh, being derogatory, especially because you, I mean, you hit the come up. What can I say? Real recognizes real. A lot of people are saying, can you play a real game? Gamers, I get that you're making a joke. The main problem is that it's not funny. The second part is that you're doing it from an indefensible position. What is a real game? League of Legends, where you as a fucking hot wizard stand uh, behind a wall of little monsters, and you, you, you stand there and go, a tick, 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 not attacking anything, even though there's obviously monsters coming for your base. Tick, 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 boom, I got the last hit, my kill, my kill. Tick, 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 tick,
nothing on the wall behind you. Okay, we put up some shelves. Now everyone's like, oh, there's nothing on the damn shelves. So we got a lot of moving parts over here at the headquarters, okay? Like, we're getting to it when we can get to it. I'm getting up at 5.20 a.m. every single day. I got a lot of stuff I'm knocking off the to-do list day in, day out. Sorry, I was genuinely, I was thinking. <laughs> like, like my life depends on it. I'm not just going gentle into that good night. I, I puzzled through the steps. Maybe I made a mistake or maybe they'll make a strategic change. But this is, this is how I chose to run it. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, we're so back! <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> You would do this, which means I'm going to do that. <laughs> and then you're going to run the same behind it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Roll it. Roll it. Send it. I'm ready. This is a counter pick. Oh, good play. <laughs> I think you just bought cheese and beat it. Beat me. <laughs> Good game, good game. All of that strategy got beaten by one cheese. There's a GG though, we say GG on those. Oh! <laughs> Have you ever seen a more validating screenshot than this? Listen, I get that there's, uh, there's, I don't think they show top 0% because I saw a screenshot of somebody on the Super Auto Pet subreddit who hit number one on the leaderboard and it still said top 1%. So the only thing you can shoot for is being in the top 10, but that feels amazing. <laughs> Windows Shift S. Into the Discord bragging. No, but people are just going to say, great job, Grandpa, whatever. Where are you? I'm not on the list, but I am in the top 10%. Which means there's at least a thousand people playing this. Because the top 10 are 1% of... You get it. That's how we dodge. <laughs> no! It's a world number two dropout streams. No, no, no. <laughs> this is so fucked. I abandoned. I can't abandon. They should let you abandon. I just hope we both have fun. Listen, I, I, you know what I hate is when you're better than somebody in something, but you're only better by like 10%. And then they roll over and show their belly. Oh, I can't believe our misfortune that we've been paired with you. Oh, this is so horrible. I never stand a chance. Well, good luck, guys. It was fun while it lasted. Like, I, I hate that stuff so much. And this. So, like, we, I got a chance. It's super auto pets, man. So, I, I'm just saying I'm not going to be that guy. Okay, that's just an insane team, honestly. I'm not gonna be that guy that is like, oh, well, I never stood a chance to begin with. Like, if you beat me, you beat me. Let's, let's let it ride here. Also, there's lots of other people in the game. You don't have to come in first. It would be nice, but we don't have to come in first. Mighty interesting. Why don't you take some support here? Now, I mean, I, I'm still, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I run? No, no, no. Just take garlic. You know, you know, garlic is the secret sauce, man. You use it in everything. So I'm losing. I'm getting too in the. You know, this is Mozart on his deathbed going, oh, a, and then the clarinets come in, brr, 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 and then the drums go, boom, 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 boom. And Sally Harry's like, slow down, slow the fuck down. So, bro, I felt, slow, 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 slow the fuck down. And Mozart, and then the horns come in, brr, 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 brr. Sally Harry's like, fuck, how is this guy so fucking smart? He's just coming out of it. Every single Salieri song is like Any sorry. You ever see Amadeus? Insane harpsichord impression? <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> 
Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's the golden saucer theme, I think. I think you're at a dead end, my good friend. Me when I'm in a Wes Anderson AI. Chad GPT and Mid Journey team up to do a Wes. What if Wes Anderson made a Final Fantasy VII movie? Squeeb diddle 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 you got me on this game. I'm cooked right now. Drop out. We don't do that. We don't. Oh, I didn't get my capybara early. We don't do that. You stay in the fight, soldier. Shamsha. Shamsha. Chaos isn't a pit. It isn't a ladder either. It's a, it's a depressed cockroach, Shamsha. Which is what you resemble. In your human-sized bed despite being a gargantuan arthropod. Not bad. I used, I used to have a, a, a saucier one, but I, it's gone to the, the ravages of time. Herzog, I, well that was supposed to be Peter Baelish, AKA Littlefinger. I, I would love to have a good Herzog, but I'm no Paul F. Tompkins. Like a good Werner Herzog impression is, is amazing because no matter what you say in the voice, is, it's always hilarious. Whether the dude is talking about, like, packing yourself into an ice bed in Antarctica so you can survive. It's ironic. The only way to survive the cold is to become the snowman. And or he's saying, you know, I want to see the baby. You know, like, I'm still, we're not quite there yet. We're working on it. I'm not working on it at all. The fuck is this? Okay, I, you were cooking on that one. You, I, I, I haven't seen that one taking a big uh, bite out of the meta, but you, I understand you are on lethal. You gotta do something. What's the otter doing now? Okay, smartass. Why don't I sell the otter then and keep the bison around? Oh wait, I don't have a fucking tier three, bozo. You're talking to a top one percent weekly sap gamer, okay? Sell both. Now you're talking, actually. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, they're cooking? They're cooking? You're absolutely right. I sell, I purchase, and then you start soaking up some buffs and, and, and stealing some sunshine here. I'm gonna run a slightly atypical squad here. Because I'm worried about the other raccoon that we're going up against. Now you can have your phone and eat it too. Just a, it's just a better team right now. Just a better team right now, drop out. But I, I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of each other in the future. If I go up against my opponent's raccoon, he steals my death touch, kills my scorpion, and then he steals my nothing, and then I steal his death touch. And I go bam, 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 and I, I run him down because his attack is going to be higher than mine. Are you, are you supposed to be locked in when I'm talking about this stuff, Judge? Judge? All right, well, you know what? We're not going up against them anyway. And we stole your croissant. Okay, two life. It's scary. This is really bad. Also, can I just say... My squad is good. Maybe minus the raccoon, which was an, an interesting choice. But for turn 13, our squad is kind of crazy. You're not supposed to freeze the tier ones. <laughs> I don't know who I want to go up against, man. Hang on, I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking.
I did change something, but it, we have to get the counter pick. We did not get the counter pick. I'm scared. I'm scared. It's the greatest raccoon fizzle of my life. I came in fifth. That's crazy, man. I know, right? Like, all it, it, listen, above all else, good game. But thank you for calling uh, dropout streams on their BS. You wait like three rounds in. You got me cooked this time. Oh, rip, we go next. That's why I said we don't do that around here. We respect that everybody's doing their best at all times. Be like an exported legend, like I'm a tradal expert. I really did have a terrible start. I just got super lucky on the skunks. Dropout games, like going into the, the final exam with a, a 4.0, 100% average in the course. I'm so nervous for the exam. At the end of the exam, how do you think you did? Uh, I think I did okay. Two weeks later, the exam gets handed back. And remarkable, Dropout Streams got uh, a perfect score on the exam. They got every question right, including the extra credit questions. Oh, geez, are you sure? There must have been some mistake. I see right through that, okay? I understand why you would do it, because why wouldn't you? It's always better to project a lack of power and then get underestimated and come over top and bring the hammer down. If you were like, yeah, I studied a long time, the person that was one class rank behind you might be like, oh shit, I better buckle down. But if instead you're like, I didn't study at all, they're going to be like, all right, I'm going to spend all night playing NBA 2K. And all of it, as a result of that, you clear them easy. You win valedictorian. School isn't competitive, though. Come on. How many, how many full scholarships are they given out at your school? How many people are winning the $500 Radio Shack gift certificate for having the highest mark in grade 12 computer class? <laughs> they only give a Radio Shack only dropped off one gift certificate, brother. I worked at a Radio Shack for a while. I used to smoke meth in the bathroom. I sold a hell of cell phones. It's one of the funniest comments I've ever uh, read in my entire life. <laughs> Just try to picture it like the only person I know that was excited to shop at Radio Shack was like my 68 year old grandfather who would always go in and buy like some fucked up circuit board that you could only get there. It was like a fastener that was made for one particular type of electrical engineering process. He'd search through like an enormous plastic bin until he found one and then you're, you're the dude helping him. Society is so funny, man. I'm not even, genuinely, I, you, you might believe me or disbelieve me and either way is fine. I've been thinking about that. I'm like, what percentage of people that I encounter on a day-to-day -day basis are under the influence of something? And I honestly, th and society functions relatively well in spite of this, okay? But it's got to be like minimum 5 to 10%, right? No, not counting caffeine. Caffeine isn't something. Guys, come on. And don't don't say, oh, I, oh, oh smoking a, out of my dab rig in the morning is like just drinking a cup of cold brew for you. No, it's not. You've blown out your, your GABA sensitivity in your brain, okay? And it's fine as long as it's after work and before you hop in your car. <laughs> A five milligram edible shouldn't count either then? I completely agree. I mean, if you consume so much weed that like you can eat an edible and not sense the highness, then I don't consider you to be part of the sample set. I'm not saying from like a legal standpoint you should drive. I'm just saying if you're scanning my shit at the grocery store and you, you know, you smoke 500, What's, well, you smoke half a gram of weed a day and you took like a little corner off a of brownie at lunch. I'm sure your ass is probably better now than you were in the morning. I'm talking about, you ever wonder like when you're outside, and you're just walking around, like how many people do you run into that are like 12 beers deep? I bet it's more than you think. <laughs> I don't think it's 25%, but I bet it's like, I bet it's five to 10. 
Especially with like the legalization of weed. Oh man, what am I gonna do for lunch? Oh, this flat tire screwed up my whole day. I had an appointment after lunch but I can't go to the appointment with my two-year-old, so I canceled my appointment, but I was also, I was gonna get lunch next to my appointment. So what the heck am I gonna do for lunch? I was gonna eat a bunch of slices of bread or something like that. Hey, drop out streams. Thank you as well for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Keep, where, where are you at here? Are you? You can, you can pass Obi-Wan Cannabis. Do you end up going up against uh, Obi-Wan Cannabis in like every game? Or do you guys talk to each other on Discord so that you don't uh, queue against each other? Do you, is there like an oligarchy going on there? Is there a, a Super Auto Pets cartel? I always get matched against 1500 and then I only gain four ELO for wins. Hey, he's talking about you guys. I'm not 1500, I'm 1595, okay? <laughs> but I think that's what it's like to be on top, though. Isn't it like every time Magnus Carlsen plays somebody, it's like if he wins, his ELO goes up two points, and if he loses, it drops like 90. And yet he still climbs? Like, that's, that's crazy. Usually not even two points. That's hard, man. No wonder he feels that if somebody beats him, they use the butt plug. And they might have, for all I know. I'm referencing the drama. I'm not taking a side. Hello, Luca. This one's for those ice cold Michelle Pfeiffer, the white gold. This one's for the good girls, them hood girls, straight masterpieces. Styling, flying, living it up in the city. Got the Saint Laurent with the chucks on. I gotta kiss myself, I'm so pretty. It's too hot, hot darn. Make a dragon wanna retire, man. Too hot, I'm too hot. Say my name, you know who I am, I'm too hot. Girls hit your hallelujahs. Girls hit your hallelujahs. Girls hit your hallelujahs. Cause uptown funk gonna give it to ya. Cause uptown funk gonna give it to ya. Cause uptown funk gonna give it to ya. Saturday night can move in the spot. Don't believe me, just watch. Yeah, I do. It's it. That song comes up a lot on the Peloton. <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> like all the time.